Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and today I will show you three and a half ways to record string ostinati. I will do it today with some phobia, the string ensemble short notes, the spiccato extra shorts. Let's have some fun. So the first and maybe easiest way for most of us is simply playing in the notes. Um, the good thing about it, obviously it's not as quantized, so there will be the human factor for sure and you can already use velocity and velocity is very important because in good libraries with harder or um, stronger velocity it's not only getting louder but it triggers another sample so the sound changes a lot So here are the notes, obviously we can quantize them a little bit, maybe 85%. Uh, We're making the next line. And you see like this, your string ostinato is growing. Yeah, a little quantize and the first way is done. If you're not that much of a keyboard player, then obviously there are other ways to do so. So one might be just drawing in the whole ostinato. Okay, so we will do this here now. We start the bass on every fourth note. Then to speed things up, we copy it, we select it again, we copy it again, and we have the four on the floor. We do the same thing here, one octave above. And here I will lower the velocity of every second note, so you get a little bit that that pumping, bump, 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 which is the rebo, bump, 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 okay. Then even there, obviously, we copy it. Take this, we copy it again. We take all this, we copy it. There you go. I go to the next line, which may be here. Let's have a short listen to it. There we go with this one, we go down. Here we might even already double it, if you will. We take every second note. Here we lower the velocity a little bit and then we continue. Okay, let's listen to it. It starts, you see, but it's quite mechanic and obviously it sounds very robotic. So take some time then and play, really play with those velocities, lower some of them, raise others. Um, it, it will be worth it. It will be definitely worth it at the end. And I go for the last line. Okay, even here we can do one thing. We can take group of twos, yeah? and play with the velocity of those, even this is quite oops, an interesting effect. Have a listen. Okay, and then we continue here. Then we make a contrary movement.
So one line goes down, one line goes up. <laughs> Do we really need MIDI packs? Sometimes. Um, yeah, and the third way is maybe my favorite one. So uh, in this case, what I will do, I will go with the step input keyboard. So I programmed it on my nano controller, press a key here. There it is. And we start with the fourth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. The good thing is that you can already play with the velocity. Um, that, that this is why this is my favorite one because it already respects the velocity. Let's uh, I will show you here as the notes come. I switch here. Again, I switch here. Let's have a quick listen to this. So you see, it already sounds quite um, human, quite um, realistic because I have all these velocities in, I can play with them. So we go again with the eight notes on the next line. I leave it like this. Very important, I will show you later. Um, if you play with the um, step input, then you have to play staccato. If you play legato, sorry, I activated. Now you can see, but then you see it plays them on top. And so if you play staccato, then uh, this doesn't happen. We play in the last line, and the last line in this case is with the 16th notes. Activate this. Okay, let's listen to it. You see, I mean, this is fun. This is really fun. And yeah, the three ways. Uh, I told you three and a half. So what would be the halfway? Then the halfway obviously would be a mix of two of them. Uh, something that even we do quite often. So I start by playing in. Okay, and then once I played in something really basic, then I might take the notes and start to, to draw within them. So maybe just here in the bass, I take the bass and I double it. The good thing is, doing like this, every second note is already selected, so I can easily then take down the velocity, always for this reboing effect. You can do the same here where you already have the eighth note, you select them, you copy them, and then you have 16th notes and... Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I hope this was useful for some of you. I hope this is fun um, to play around with. Um, you can obviously not only do it with an ensemble patch, you can divide it by bass and celli and the viola and the violins and whatever, or you use just an ensemble patch. And yeah, three and a half ways to record your string ostinati. That's it from my side. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please just hit that button. It means a lot to me. Have a good time. Make good music. See you then in the next video. Bye-bye.